But heading the news at five, the Manly Sea Eagles are soaring high tonight, still celebrating hard after their historic grand final win. The NRL Premiers and their die-hard fans saving, savouring their annihilation of the Melbourne Storm. After 12 long years, the Premiership trophy was back at Manly. The NRL's best team mobbed by its fans. The outrageous. Well done. 12 months after the bitter taste of grand final defeat. Revenge. Just getting inside to join in the celebrations was almost impossible. This is absolute mayhem. The players caught in the crush, just trying to get the trophy through their sea of fans. It was like a mosh pit down there. It was awesome. I've never experienced any that, anything that crazy in my whole life. Several players crowd surfing their way over the revellers. The impact of this win profound. They just scattered everywhere. I've never seen anything like it. I'm gum smacked and I'm so proud of the noise. Earlier, the league's club erupted. With every one of Manly's record breaking 40 points by night's end, they had the best seat in the house <laughs> for the best party in town. The comparison from winning one and losing one, yeah, you can't explain it. Not everyone got in, the streets packed as the full house sign went up, but no one was leaving in a hurry. Very, very happy and pumped. Players mixing with supporters, there were photos and autographs and souvenirs. That's the bling. That might come up for a while, but that'll stay there. Hopefully, hopefully no one fogs it. <laughs> I'll tape my fingers together so I didn't lose it. Wise idea, eventually celebrations went to another level. <laughs> with no sign of stopping anytime soon. I'll probably be hungover when I start pre-season training. Paul Cochran, 10 News.